we are in our part two of our uh, footer form and we've got our mold made up here or we've got our plug made up here we're going to be making the mold next we're going to be using uh, epoxy and fiberglass mat and that will be what we coat this with right now we're putting a coat of wax on it and uh, it's just regular paraffin wax that they use for canning and uh, we'll coat that on here, get it smoothed up, and uh, then we'll get on to putting the fiberglass on it. Okay, I got the wax applied to everything and it's kind of lumpy right now, but uh, I can use just this uh, sanding block, just rubber, and just rubbing over it creates enough heat to uh, smooth the surface out. So I should be able to just go around this thing and polish it to a pretty nice finish and, uh, and that'll make a good surface to put our mold onto. Okay, we got our wax applied and uh, scraped off any high spots, kind of even things out a little bit, and it polishes up pretty nice. Makes a pretty slick surface. I don't think we're going to have any fiberglass sticking to that. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to put some kind of a reinforcement ring around this bottom here. So we're going to roll this piece of uh, looks like 5 16 bar and that'll be going all the way around the bottom of the base here just to give it some strength. Well, many years ago I built this uh, rolling machine so that I could make uh, evenly rounded metal objects. In fact the machine rolled this piece of pipe that's being used for the handle on it. Well, it looks like one more pass ought to do it. Got some fiberglass that has been cut here to go around the base for a flange that'll be on it. Some strips that'll be up around the top. Um, we got the reinforcement rings, uh, one that I showed bending earlier. 
is welded together and that'll be at the base of everything and then I got a couple of smaller ones to go up at the top just to give everything some rigidity and keep it together uh, while we're abusing it with loads of cement. Over here we got uh, a couple of gallons of epoxy and some fiberglass mat. This is a random strand mat that's one and a half ounce and uh, it's got an adhesive in it that uh, is dissolved by polyester resin for your normal fiberglass work, but when using the epoxies, um, it's not going to melt that glue, so it may not work great, but it will work. Um, so one thing about this stuff is that there is usually a natural split in it um, where you can peel half of this apart, and I'll, I'll get to that later, but uh, you can basically uh, tear this stuff throughout its uh, thickness in half so that uh, it makes it much thinner and easier to saturate. So we'll see that as we get going. So I'm praying off the cut edge of this because I don't want that uh, lump and I want it to blend together better. And uh, I just take these strips and break them into little patches. And basically just a paper mache fashion that you can go over the form and just uh, slap these on there and apply resin to them until they or adhered down. I have enough of this glass I believe to go around it uh, four times which should give me a decent build up and I have these thinner pieces that will be easier to slap on there and I can just uh, I can orient them in any direction that I want to just create kind of a random build over it but I want to try to maintain the thickness throughout so I just have to continue to tear up the rest of my fiberglass mat until uh, I have all of it turned into a pile of pieces here. And if I need a smaller piece that I can that I want to patch into a, a spot, um, it's easy just to tear off a piece of this and suit that purpose. Okay, got some of the material. Uh... A fiberglass material set up here for uh, putting on to the form and uh, over here is the rest of it that will have to go on the form so I think that's going to be a good project for tomorrow because uh, I've had enough for one day but uh, we'll get to that next here's where the fiberglassing uh, begins you need to mix equal parts of this epoxy resin together and saturate the fiberglass. And the hardener is much more liquid. I just need to get all that into here.
Now we just need to do lots of mixing and make sure that it all gets together. Don't get started. Just got to get some uh, resin saturated into this mat. Like I said, one of my big concerns about using this stuff is just that it, uh, it doesn't go into the glass quite the same way that polyester resin does, but I think it's going to be all right. And what we're wanting to get is like this area where you can see it turning dark and kind of transparent, as you can see all the way down through the through to the bottom of it. So it's a matter of working the air bubbles out of the the glass and getting it to come up to the surface so it, uh, the entire cloth is saturated. Now we're going to install the first ring on the base. Okay, a quick update on the progress of the form. Uh, you can see up here on the top that we've managed to build up a certain amount of thickness there. It's greater than 3 16ths of an inch, at least at the top, but I did go around and kind of reinforce that area a little bit more than possibly other areas. So anyway, we're down to the point now where I have sanded it all off once again, and uh, we're going to be adding this pile of glass to it, and I will probably tint the uh, epoxy just so I can see exactly where I've been going. Here's the result of today's effort. Well, we've been jumping around between projects a little bit and uh, we got the footer form completed but getting it off of the uh, plug would turned out being kind of difficult so um, could end up having to split the form and add a flange to it so it can be removed in halves. So that'll be the next process. Go ahead and cut this thing on each side down the vertical line and then uh, add a flange on to it so that it can be taken apart. Well, I split the form in half and uh, went ahead and added this flange on to it. Put wax down underneath the here um, so hopefully this thing won't stick down. So I guess it's the moment of truth to see if this thing pops up or not. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Like some of the wax came up and I had some uh, modeling clay around the inside of it just to damn things up, but uh, that looks like it uh, came out pretty good. So now all I have to do is put the halves together and add a flange to the other side and then uh, we'll have a way to clamp this together. All right, got the second flange put on this uh, form. I think it's time to take the clamps off and see if this thing will split apart as planned.
footer for him is finally finished. Um, the flanges have been trimmed down, bolted together, glued two pieces of plywood together for a base and uh, bolted the perimeter of the form into the plywood so it has a bottom to it. And all it has to be done is put some uh, rebar inside of it to uh, reinforce it and fill it with cement. So now we got to do is make like 18 of these things. So it'll get its use. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And uh, keep tuned, there's a lot more to come. I do this? Yeah, you do this. <laughs>